Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another installment of the Case of the Unusual CNC Machine. In this video I'm going to replace a ball nut from one of the ball screws on my machine after noticing a rattling or knocking noise while the gantry moved towards the front. And just to illustrate the issue, this is what the machine sounds like when it is moving at the front quarter. <laughs> And this is a comparison when it is further away. If you hear a noise like this, it could be due to a few different things, including compression or misalignment of the ball screw. But after doing a little investigating, I found that the ball nut itself wasn't packed correctly with enough ball bearings. Anyway, on with the show. Um, so I realised there was a clicking noise to the left hand side as the machine was moving forward and I've just decoupled the gantry from the y-axis screws. I thought at first maybe there was something wrong with the ball screw thread itself. It may have been too long on the left hand side, it was pinching and maybe bending the the screw but actually what I found is the nut on the left hand side is a little bit loose and I'll just show you those so this is the one on the right hand side if I shuffle this around you can hear no noise and it's quite tight it only turns a couple times if I spin it and the one on the left you can hear that it must have not had the same number of ball bearings packed in so it's not sitting properly maybe they're all to one side and if I it's also very loose and I've also managed to cut myself um, I've moved this across and it's kind of consistent the same so it's not the ball screw thread so what I'm going to do is buy another nut and try and replace that okay the ball nut has arrived and what i'm going to do now is remove the entire drive assembly on this side of the machine Okay, so this is the uh, ball nut of the, uh, I sent me a dud one. Be really careful not to push these orange bits in. And something to note about the pipe is that the inner diameter should fit onto the recess bit at the end so you can get a kind of positive connection and it lines up and then it's just a matter of rotating it onto the ball screw. Uh, as for the old one, I think what I'll do is I'll try and take that off on the opposite end. Be careful handling the ball nut to avoid pulling out that central plastic tube, which is preventing all the bearing from falling out. You will also have to loosen a couple of tiny grub screws, which pinch a plastic flange on either end, so you can start to thread it onto the screw. Later you'll have to re-tighten those. I found it easier to install with a screw vertically, but different strokes or different folks, whatever works for you. Okay, that's much better. So it's just a matter of So all assembled as it was. 
I'm going to move the gantry to the front of the machine and compare the noise it now makes with previously. There's still something there as it gets closer to the stepper end, but it's a lot better. I'm not sure if it's because of how I've used the end supports, where I only used one thick support at the opposite end of the stepper and relied on the motor shaft coupler for flexibility. It's an improvement anyway. I'm going to leave this video here and in the next one I'll perform some accuracy tests and share my findings. Thanks again for watching, be good and have a nice holiday.